Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is a circuit I've been working on uh, for a while. I had some trouble with it, but I've finally managed to get it working. It's not finalized yet, and I've just got a, a basic processor board, two fingerprint scanners, and what I wanted to do is create something just like you see in the movies where uh, two guys turn the key at the same time, only uh, in this case use two fingerprints to unlock a door. Now, the unlock uh, LED would probably be a relay or a solenoid or an electromagnet, uh, but right now it's just an indicator LED. I've got three LEDs right here. I'm not going to go through the programming mode to program in fingerprints because it's a bit more in-depth. Uh, still simple enough, but I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, so anyway, for the left fingerprint, I've actually programmed in two fingerprints. I'm the uh, middle and pointer finger on my left hand, and for the right sensor, the middle and uh, pointer on my right hand. Now, either will do. I can do combinations. It doesn't matter as long as they are done at the same time. Uh, if, uh, if it detects an incorrect fingerprint, all three of these LEDs will light up. Now, these three LEDs, uh, red, yellow, and green, are used primarily in the program mode. But again, I'm just going to uh, show off the um, scanning mode. So let me power it up. Now, I'm hoping you'll be able to see the LEDs because I'm actually going to have to put my arms around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do this so you can see uh, the state of the LEDs. I'll power it on. And I'm going to press this button. When I press that button, both fingerprint scanners light up. Uh, so I'm going to put both pointers on the fingerprint scanners. And the LED lights up for a few seconds and then turns off. Uh, I'm going to program in a toggle mode so it toggles on for, for a 10 seconds, however long. Uh, lots of programming left to do, lots of peripherals to add in, but I just wanted to get the circuit working. So if I put in, uh, sorry, my, let's see, my third finger on my left hand. All right, let's do my thumb because you can actually see it. All three LEDs on the left should light up, indicating that, uh, sorry, I actually have to press the button again to light up the sensors. And uh, so that indicates that an incorrect set of fingerprints has been uh, detected. Now, ideally, this fingerprint scanner and this fingerprint scanner would be much farther apart. Um, but just for prototyping purposes, I put them side by side. So again, enter into scanning mode. Two fingerprints that have been programmed in. C correct combination. incorrect combination. So if I take my sweet time and I just use one fingerprint, then the device will turn off and enter back into uh, a mode where it waits for the button to be pressed. Now the reason why I have a button uh, press requirement is because I don't want to have the LEDs on the fingerprint scanners on all of the time. I mean LEDs typically, as long as they're designed properly, the circuit and the driver can last <laughs> like 10,000 hours. Re LEDs are very reliable, but it's at the same time, just for the sake of uh, slight power management, I made it so you have to press a button each time, put two fingerprints on, and uh, it scans both very quickly. Once one fingerprint is pressed, uh, it, it looks for the other. Are they both a match? If yes, turn on the relay or the indicator, this indicator LED. If not, turn on all three of these LEDs. Just a, a essentially proof of concept idea just to see if uh, I had some trouble getting two fingerprint scanners working at the same time. Uh, luckily the uh, uh, the creator of the library for the fingerprint scanners, Josh, uh, came up with an idea that gave me uh, a head start and uh, set me back on track. And in any case, um, Thanks for watching. I just wanted to share it. Very happy that I got two fingerprint scanners working properly. Uh, I spent yesterday afternoon correcting a lot of my software, and lo and behold, it works. So thanks for watching. Uh, visit us at engineeringshock.com, electroniclessons.com, and paintballprops.com. Take care, guys.